All right, well, hello, it's Dane at Jonah Custom Guitars, and uh, I've got this uh, Gibson acoustic in. Uh, we're going to put a Lyric, uh, LR Bags Lyric microphone under saddle uh, pickup in. Um, just got it in, checked. I'm going to show you a little. I'm doing the basically my first inspection on this thing. I did look up the number, and uh, you certainly won't be able to see it in, in here, I don't think. Yeah, not really. So, but anyway, I looked up the number, and you can sort of see there's two rows of indentions there. And so the lower row uh, is, uh, says made in the USA. So, the trip with the made in the USA is that uh, as I explain it, I'm going to be panning the the finish cracks in this guy. Uh, so the thing with Made in the USA on the dating of these, this unit is in the six, uh, excuse me, six hundred thousand range, six and five zeros, and um, uh, so that that number alone puts it in the sixty-six to sixty-nine range, but with the Made in the USA stamp on the back underneath the, the serial number that puts it in the 70 to 75 range. So apparently uh, they used so many different goofy numbers and repeated them that nobody really knows. Anyway, you can see there's a just a mountain, a mountain, that's not a good word, just all kinds of these deep uh, cracks in the lacquer on this thing. And uh, the back isn't as bad, but it's uh, it's got its fair share. If I can get in a light that actually shows it, yeah, you can kind of see it almost looks like a like a tiger stripe wood, but it's actually just finished cracks. And then all these little kind of, you see those white spots, those are actually little nicks into the finish. Uh, somebody must have had a, a spiky belt buckle or something on, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, the back of the neck isn't banged up at all. It looks really good. It feels fine. Um, I think those are just the Clouson Deluxe. I can't really read the printing, but that's what they look like. I'll have to get a magnifying glass out to look at that. I haven't done that yet. Put my visor on real quick and see if I can tell. Nope, it says Gibson Deluxe probably made by somebody like Clouson. I don't really know that fact. I can't say that I'm a Cracker Jack old acoustic guy as far as uh, knowing all the different parts available. So, uh, this bridge has been replaced. It's, uh, you can see in the finish there that uh, they gadgeted it up pretty good. Either replaced or re-glued uh, the owner had a, a guy that has some Gibson experience looking at it and said that uh, he didn't think that was the original Gibson bridge and that he should pull that off and replace it with a Gibson bridge. It's, uh, it's stuck on there really good. There's absolutely no point that I can see in taking that off. Um, it's a nice sounding guitar. They're uh, short of the uh, dating. Uh, there's no you know, no sticker inside there. Nothing on the uh, the neck block, although you can't see it in this light, but there was nothing on the neck block. I thought this was interesting. Uh, if you can, you notice, well, it does say Gibson on it. You notice that a uh, truss cover is a little upside down. That's just kind of funny looking. Okay, I'm going to put the camera up on the stand here and this could make us all seasick. So I'll do my best to not make it too hazardous. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the strings off of it. Let's do a quick chord for you so you can hear it. I got um, it's been a while since I've done a video and I haven't uh, I've completed the the Nighthawk neck through, uh, you know, body copy, 
Uh, I have not had an opportunity to do a video on that because my amp doesn't live here, my good amp. Uh, I've got a couple here, but not one I would want to demo a new guitar on. Uh, also, a good guitar player doesn't live here, so I'd like to be able to find somebody that could actually play it well and um, give you a good demo on it. So that's coming up, but I uh, don't know exactly when that will happen. If you, haven't, if you haven't seen any of the videos on, uh, I think it's called Latest Electric Guitar. It'll be uh, one of the Jonah Custom Guitar videos. Before I take the strings off, I was going to do some, some stuff here. I need to check the string height. I always do this when I get a guitar in. Uh, go over the whole body. Uh, I got a notepad over here. I'll write all this stuff down on before anything actually gets taken apart. Um, well, I mean, I'll pull the strings off of it. But, you know, I'll check all the string height, everything, see where it's at. It's got a pretty good amount of belly, you know, pull up on the back of the bridge and belly. Uh, if, since it's not an original Gibson bridge, and if the under saddle microphone doesn't interfere with it, I'm going to recommend a bridge doctor type uh, bridge truss there to uh, help straighten that top out a bit. And because uh, right now where the string height is at, I can tell you I can't bring it down any with the saddle. No, uh, no room to move on the saddle. As far as taking any meat out of that, uh, just a quick eyeball, the nut action. Nut action is a tad high, but uh, the amount that I could bring that down isn't going to help my string height here. He wasn't complaining about the string height at the 12th fret, by the way, just something I like to check in. Uh, I like a, a certain, certain action there, the handy dandy. Stumac uh, string height gauge here. So a quick, uh, quick eyeball on that puts me at just under eight, so seven sixty fourths. And uh, in English, <laughs> that would be almost an eighth of an inch, which is twice as high as I like to see them. Although an acoustic down to five or six sixty fourths is acceptable. So, you know, 1 64th over isn't a huge deal. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a deal breaker for this guy because he didn't ask me to do anything. Well, he did ask me to see if I could bring it down a little bit. Um, but, um, you know, I like him down around 5. I like him better at 4. Uh, I don't know if I'm a lazy guitar player or what. Yeah, even the high E string is up at the 7 64th mark. So, I uh, don't know. You can see it, but well, now you're not going to tell from that. There's just no room uh, in that saddle to lower this at all. And there really is a, a lot of rotation on that bridge, so I got to see if there's a way to get that in there. I think the bridge doctors actually add volume to the guitar. And I've done several of them, and I haven't heard any. Um, it's the best way to say it. I haven't heard them, you know, harm, affect the tone in such a way that is something you wouldn't want to do. Uh, you wouldn't want to do it on a vintage instrument that was valuable because you wouldn't want to drill a hole through the through the bridge. But they, if you actually buy a bridge doctor, you can get the one that has the little uh, bushings that go through the saddle, through the bridge, and uh, attach it that way. Um, at any rate, uh, Breed Love Guitars, for instance, you know, puts a bridge doctor in all their all their instruments, so they come from the factory with with that device. Um, so I don't see a negative a negative uh, reason. I see a bad reason not to put a bridge doctor into something like this, if I can get it to go in there without it interfering with the uh, the saddle microphone. So having said all that, the other thing uh, we're looking at here is there's a pretty good. Pretty good crack right here in front of the the bridge, right here, uh, sort of parallel under the B string, and it's it's a pretty good step down where it's been cracked, and it has been glued, so it's pretty much gonna live there. 
Um, once I get inside of it and I can see how things are looking, I might try to, to heat it up, soften the glue, and, and level the split out so it doesn't have a step. You hear the step. That's a pretty good step. Okay, now that we've done all that, 764 fourths. I'm going to check the, just for kicks and giggles. Yeah, it's got a pretty good belly in the in the neck right now, and I would uh, definitely check it in the plane position um, if I were setting it up. But just to get an idea of where it's living, I'm going to check it like this. I'm going to go ahead and see if 20 will go in there. I'm sh pretty sure 20 thousands will go under there. It's uh, difficult to hold it up and measure it. same time. Camera, I don't want to drop somebody's guitar on camera. So I'm rubbing that pretty solid at 20,000, so let's call it 19,000. So I'll make a note of all that. And uh, we'll go from there. So, meanwhile, I'm going to pull the strings. Uh, we've been going for 11 minutes or so. I'm just going to go ahead and turn this off. Pull the strings off, do an inside inspection. You don't, you're not going to be able to see that anyway, so I'm going to take care of that. Um, I'm going to pull the pin, uh, drill a half inch hole in the, the, the end pin hole uh, to put the, uh, the input jack, excuse me, output jack uh, for the Lyric system. Uh, into there. So, catch you next time.